I've got a few heaters that should be on your radar this spooky season. Let's talk about them. By the time this video drops, the black canvas fours may have already released after we had one initial pushback. We had that first delay on those, but some people were still able to cop. Retail on those was $210. There's still gonna be a little bit of meat on the bone. I've seen those pairs selling for anywhere from 280 to around 300 bucks a piece. So if you cop those, it might've been a quick dub. The next drop I wanna mention is October 14th. Stay tuned for this, keep your eyes on sneakers. It is rumored that the black and white dunk lows are going to be restocking. I know you could have never guessed that it's not like they've ever restocked before we've only seen them one time right and then they've never hit the shelves again kidding obviously we've seen the black and white dunk lows restock i don't know maybe a dozen times already and still there's a little bit of resale value on those pretty much every sneaker head or every sneaker reseller has a pair of the black white dunk lows in their collection i don't know how many more they can produce so we'll see if those roll out on the 14th october 15th we've got a couple good releases this release date is not 100 percent confirmed but go and stock x have said that the neck face dunk low is going to be releasing on the 15th neck face Really popular LA graffiti artist. Some of his most famous work is in a skate park. And of course he has had former collabs with Nike. I'm taking a jab and saying the retail for these is gonna be $150. That's just based on a couple of things I'm hearing through the grapevine. Like I said, there hasn't been any locked set in stone date nor retail price on these yet. The final design has been leaked. The shoes are pretty dope. Of course it doesn't look like your traditional dunk low. They're gonna stand out. They're gonna have resale value. And this is definitely a shoe that you're gonna wanna cop. Another shoe that's releasing on the same day October 15th, the LeBron 20 Low Violet Frost. Now you guys don't hear me call out a lot of LeBrons on this channel. This one just happens to catch my eye. The 20 is a fairly new silhouette. In my opinion, these LeBrons are starting to look like Kobe's. And I like the designs of the 20s so far. The first pair of 20s that dropped are holding a decent value, nothing crazy. These brown 20s are gonna retail for 200 bucks. You might be able to get some lunch money on them. I could be wrong. I don't think they're gonna be super limited. But again, the design is nice. If anybody is a LeBron fan, be sure to copy these that make for a great personal if you cop them to resell and they don't do as you expect it to remember you can always take them back to the store no risk next up october 29th we've got the memphis fours not actually the memphis fours but if you watch my last video you'll understand why i call those the memphis fours anyways retailing for 210 dollars is the midnight navy fours really great colorway fours are popping right now fours have almost gained as much hype as what the dunk has in the past couple years i don't know where it came from i've always thought thought fours were a good silhouette it's like the hype for the fours comes and goes but it always repeats itself so these are going to do really well these are going to fetch anywhere between three and four hundred dollars probably right away and if i'm wrong i'm sure the hold time will be pretty short term to be able to fetch closer to that 350 to 400 dollar range on these another rumor not locked nor set in stone but the apps release dates are not very consistent on these the lost and found ones again october 29th i find it hard to believe that they would release those and these fours on the 29th especially with how much hype is going going to be behind both of those releases. I made an entire video solely on the lost and found ones. And in that video and some of the other sneakers news pages, we're thinking that the release date isn't until November 19th. Keep your eye on sneaker news pages. Keep your eye on Instagram, my Instagram especially. If we have a confirmed date, I will make sure that I post that on my story because we don't want to miss the lost and found ones. More news. I saw a post on a Facebook group today that more pairs of these are being released than any pair of Air Jordan 1 OG High in history. Now I've seen them say things like this before with some Holiday 11s and other retros in the past, and I don't think this changes anything. Sure, right out the gate, the value might not be as high as what we thought it was going to be, just because of rumors like these. People are gonna think that the market's gonna be flooded right off the rip. I'm not buying it yet. I think that's a quick post to try and push people away from copying one of the best silhouettes of this entire year, and I'm still gassed to the floor on these. I remember a year or two ago, this also happened with a pair of Yeezys. I can't remember exactly which colorway. People said more of those were going to be produced in a restock than they did in the original release and it just didn't happen. Just a big lie to try and push resellers away from copping the shoes. So don't fall for all of the news unless you have a really good source. That's pretty much it. Yes, we have some other releases, some retros and some other kicks that are releasing this month, but you know, I'll pop them up, but it's just brick, brick, brick and i don't see a lot of value in any of these sneakers the market's weird right now so i'm sticking to my guns and that's what i plugged y'all with if you have any questions on october's releases drop those in the comments below hit me up on ig the handle is the same at all ab sneakers as always i appreciate you guys for watching i appreciate the support if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn those notifications on don't miss my next video
Oh yeah, and don't forget, this is all about sneakers.